Hello everyone, and welcome back to Alchemy Mysteries Prague Legends, where I've had some trouble recording today, so hopefully that's going to knock itself off right now. Um, I'm a direct descendant, and I'm a friend. I must tell Mr. Novak. Yeah, and Mr. Novak was attacked by the creepy golem dude, right? Yeah, I believe so. So we're probably going to go find, like, a murder right now. Even though we're supposed to be meeting his grandson for tea. What's happened here? This is all very strange. Adam promised to have a breakfast with me. Maybe he knows. What does this mean? Oh, gosh, what's happened? That was a very strange thing. Insulation tape. Like I said, I've been having the weirdest stuff going on today. Um... And I'd really prefer it if it would stop. Because I, I am too busy to have my recordings not work. I've already been having some problems with other things. Adam's Cafe. I mean, are we supposed to be going around to the back of the antique shop? Or, yeah. Or are we supposed to be meeting Adam? Could solve the bars. So yeah, I think we need to go talk to Adam. At his coffee house. Or Adam's cafe. Oh. Well, there's no one here either? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Something horrible is going on in the city. When I came to the antique shop, I saw it being completely thrashed and the windows were shattered. Some terrible crime was committed here last night. I need to meet Adam at his cafe as soon as possible and he can explain to me what happened. Okay, well, this appears to be his cafe. Cash register? Ding, da, ding, ding. can't interact with any of this stuff. Is Adam here? Ava, last night was really terrible. Somebody attacked my grandfather. He's alive, but the hospital staff said he's in unstable condition. The police officers are convinced it was a robbery, but I don't think so. Your jewelry case and amulet have disappeared. The most unbelievable thing is that when I was leaving the shop, I saw a man. I'm sure it was Mr. Schwarzenberg. I tried to pursue him, but he disappeared without a trace. I think this man had something to do with the nighttime incident. But how is that possible? He died in a car accident. I read newspaper reports about it. P.S. I left a newspaper article about Mr. Schwarzenberg and his daughter's death behind the bar counter. Just take a look. Oh, I didn't want to exit. I saw sparkles up there. Turn this thing around. We are not done. So yeah, we're not meeting with, uh, ooh. Okay. Hunting trophy, knife, phonograph, corkscrew, three swords, and corn. I like how the corn is just, like, blacked out. Maybe we don't have it yet. Okay. I didn't like having to do that, but it wasn't letting me out of the inventory thing. Or it wasn't, it wasn't, okay, well there are two swords right here. I'm assuming I just need a third. A coffee grinder. A knife, a hunter, here's a knife. What's this? It's like a plug for the drawer. Yes, the corn! Um, the newspaper. We have a horse phonograph. Like, how can a phonograph hide from me? Oh, here it is. It's just dark. A hunting trophy. Like a horse? What's a hunting trophy? Oh, like, like a bull with horns? Yeah. A coffee grinder and a third sword. I already see the two that are on the wall here. Oh, here's the old-fashioned coffee grinder. My dad actually has one that looks just like that. Just like it. So where's this final sword? 
It's gotta be just sitting propped up against something, right? Where is it? Oh, we don't have it. Of course we don't. Glue. I can't believe it. The cafe has been thrashed. Adam has gone missing. He left a note. It says somebody attacked Mr. Novak last night and the jewelry box and amulet were stolen. It sounds strange, but Adam says he saw the late Mr. Schwarzenberg. Well, yeah, it's pretty obvious that, like, devils and whatnot are here. So can I... Um, just, like, hammer this out? Where did he say that he saw it? I didn't take the note with me, did I? Tasks. Find the newspaper behind the bar counter. Well, I think we need to finish this. But first we need to find a third sword. Did that do anything? Is there now another sword somewhere? Do you suppose we've never looked at this part? I'm not hungry now, but I might need a piece of cheese for later. I wouldn't be... Ooh. Aha! Sword. I wouldn't be hungry at all. Oh! Especially now that the walls are bleeding. I would not be hungry at all. No cheese for me, please. Should have known we just needed the sword. So that should give us the newspaper that we need, right? It's giving us a cutscene. This guy's driving like a maniac and there's magic following behind him, resting the can! October 24th, 2010. A car accident has taken place due to negligence on the part of the driver on the Kronos Mountain Range. I don't know how else that would be pronounced. The car ran through the traffic barrier and plummeted down the cliff. According to the police report, two bodies were found, Carl Schwarzenberg and his daughter, Sarah Schwarzenberg. They are residents of Prague. The victims will be buried in the city cemetery of Prague after the investigation is concluded. We're gonna dig up a grave? I know we have a shovel, but come on. <sighs> Cemeteries are creepy. Can I talk to these people? Apparently not. I'm just gonna walk past them. Okay, we're... We're here. This must be Sh Mr. Schwarzenberg's crypt. I have to get in there. There's a missing part. Gosh darn it. Stupid missing parts. Well, this is concerning. Wants me to turn back. Oh my gosh. Recently dug up. Oh. Here are the parts. Oh, we've still got more parts to find, though. Um, does it want us to, like, put it back one by one? It sparkles, and when things sparkle, it makes me think I need to do something with them immediately. Oh, I didn't really want to exit. Chances are they're all in the cemetery. Right? I'll just have it tell me to go, yeah, okay. They're all here. That's usually how it has been. A drawer handle. Need to look for anything that's out of place. Like this, firewood. No, now it wants me to exit because I have a drawer handle and firewood. And go back to the cafe. What needs a drawer handle? The cash register? No, I apparently don't need to go over there anymore. Drawer handle, drawer handle. What needs a drawer handle? 
Or I suppose some firewood. It does want me in here, right? Yeah, it does. A crowbar. But for what? What are we crowbarring open? The back door of the antique shop? I thought I was going to the back door of the antique shop. Somehow I'm back here. I'm so confuzzled. Turn left. Cemetery. Okay, they're just very similar. So let's crow by these. Saw. We just saw them off. What do we need to do then? Do we need to go back inside? Yes. Okay. So what in here? Requires a drawer handle. Or, I mean, we could put the firewood in the fireplace. I have no way of lighting it. Can we use the magical lamp? To find out. Don't I have... Yeah, I have a lighter. I have to blow... Oh my god, so we need a bellows. I don't have any bellows. Oh, we're back to another search for hidden objects thing. Crystal glass shard. Horns, tape measure, envelope with a stamp, rope, and a chair. It's a tape measure. There's the bellows that we need for the fire. Alright, we got the axe. Horns. I'm assuming it doesn't mean this type of French variety horn. Envelope with a stamp. Bellows. Chair. Rope. Horns. And a crystal glass shard. Which isn't ready for us, so I think we need to smash it with something. Horns? Like antlers? Okay. And a crystal glass shard. This looks like it could be made of crystal. It's the only thing that looks like it could be. Oh, duh. I have a hammer. I was looking for one. I need to get... I keep forgetting that we can go to the inventory during these things. It's just such a strange thing to do to me. Because in all the other games, it hasn't been like that. Alright, we've got a good fire going now. I don't know why we needed a fire. Now we have a ball. Does it go in here? Is this not the symbol that it's missing? Okay, it isn't. Oh, what's this? I saw something sparkling back there. Alright, we have a ball, and now we're going into the study. Oh, we got another hidden object thing. Ace of hearts, glasses, milk, horseshoe. These look like the exact same drawer handles. Glasses, mask, glasses, skull, horseshoe, paintbrush, and a mask. There's a cat. I don't know, it just seems like we should be using that right now. There's a diamond ring right there. It's not lying me. Aha. A saw to saw the bars. Is this the ace that we wanted? Apparently not. There's a matchbox. This looks like it could be the Ace of Hearts. I can't really make out the symbol. It's kind of small, but... Paintbrush and mask. Paintbrush.
expression mask. Can I put it with the other cards? There's a paintbrush. But where might a mask be? Like, when I think of mask, I think of, like, a masquerade mask. That's probably not what it's talking about. Oh my gosh, that blended in so perfectly. Are we sure this is not the ace that we need? I know hearts is a red card color. But it's not letting me click on it. Not, like, anywhere on its body. Oh, I need to put the heart on it. I would never have gotten that. No. No way. Not ever. Um, I do wish you could, like, fast travel in this game like you could in um, Silent Bill. Because I know where I need to go. And I need to go back to the back of the antique shop and saw my way in. Not quite right. I forget that I don't need to actually go to the antique shop to go around to the back. I need to go over here. It's such a tiny area to get back here. Okay. We'll saw these bars off. And then I guess we'll crawl inside. Well, we're inside now. But we're going to explore the wrecked antique shop next time. So if you enjoyed this episode of Alchemy Mysteries Prog Legends, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!